being a subsect of the dynamic personality approach. Cognitive Effective Processing Systems, or CAPS, was created by Mishu and Shoda. This theory is laid out as follows. First, a certain situation provokes the individual to encode information. Encoding is defined as the perception of the situation and action. It is one of the person variables in CAPS, in the Cognitive Affective Processing System. Encoding leads to expectation and beliefs, which is the likelihood of success from previous experiences in a certain situation and what the individual should desire to happen in the specific situation. This leads then to goals and values. How much do I want to experience or avoid the certain situation? and outcomes of certain actions in the given situation. So it is then that the individual decides what they should be doing, which is their goal. Then there's also the emotional response or the effect, feeling about the certain situation or action that is planned. And then afterwards, there is the personal competencies and self-regulation. How does this relate to me? Do I have skills in this situation? And also self-efficacy. All of these four subsects of the person variables, such as expectations and beliefs, goals and values, emotional responses and effects, personal competencies and self-regulation, they then influence encoding. It is a bi-directional relationship whereby information processing or encoding affects all of these and then all of these effects encoding. Next we move into behavior since all of these then contribute to what one must do in this certain situation. This manifests itself as behavioral signatures which is the outward manifestation of personality. Certain situations lead to general personality profiles. Profiles are defined as stress vulnerability signatures that have that view certain situations as more stressful than others and dynamic theorists tell how unique situations are interpreted leading to stress. Different situations are processed leading to different behaviors, different reactions. Another thing to consider includes the individuality or uniqueness and stability of the certain behavior. For example, these include distinct behavioral patterns that characterize the individual and that have relatively stable beliefs. Uh, personality can change with the situation depending on the unit accessibility. All of this behavior in the certain situation then comes back to personal competencies and self-regulation and thus continue inward perception as to whether their behavior was appropriate in the certain situation and so on and so forth. So a big limit to this theory is how do you test all of these individual components of the cognitive effective processing system? But an advantage to this theory is that it has some internal validity. So yeah, thanks for watching. We covered the cognitive effective processing system, personal variables such as encoding, expectation and beliefs, goals and values, emotional responses, personal competencies and self-regulation, how these all affect behavior in the form of behavioral signatures and that account for individuality and profiles. Thanks for watching.